Welcome back to RB Sensei. To my diehard fans, make sure you watch at least until 9 minutes because watch time is the most important factor to this channel growing and being successful. To new watchers, if you like this video at any point, <clears throat> like and comment. Now let's get into this ridiculous nonsense. And she's so desperate for a man that she's literally waiting to be dialed into a YouTube call-in show to advertise herself to men on the internet. That math is not adding up. That MAF is not adding up, dude. It's just not adding up. Hello? Hey. Hey, what's your name, baby? Empress. Empress, where are you calling me from? Um, I'm actually calling you from Kenya, but I live in Georgia. Okay, are you on vacation? I am. Okay, Kenya. Did you go to the safari, the giraffe safari, minor? Minor? Well... I kind of go twice a year, so I did that last year in February already. Excuse so me. That's a gigantic red flag for most guys. Okay, first and foremost, she got to be in her 30s or 40s, minimum. We don't know her age yet, but I'm getting older vibes. And she's coming on an internet platform where thousands of people are going to see her with her boobs basically out. Whatever she's into, you know. <laughs> So we already know we're dealing with a woman with that 304 spirit in her. It's so cringy when older women still feel the need to like show off their body to get attention and validation. Like you should be too old for that after your 20s. Like 29 is the cutoff for that. After that point, you're fucking pathetic. No, no. No, I'm serious. And she talk about she go to Kenya two times a year and I'm sure she go to other places too. We got another Travelisha here. Men, we're structured, we're disciplined, we go to work, we come home, we do our thing. We can go on a vacation once or twice a year, but I can tell she gonna want to travel all the time. See, women these days think a relationship with a man is about traveling and taking Instagram pictures and having somebody to fix your stuff. It's a huge red flag when a woman just talking about traveling all the time. Traveling all the time, you can't build a life off that. You ain't looking for a man, you looking for a travel buddy. But let's continue, Empress. <laughs> How old are you? Um, oh, oh boy. Okay, I know everybody says, oh, I'm so nervous, I'm so nervous, but I am at an all-time high of nervousness. But, okay, so my age, I lied to everyone. So if I lied to you, lo siento. Bro, the fuck up. What? You lie to everybody about your age, and this is how you want to present you know, to a man. You're online looking for a man, and this is how you want to come across. Starting off lying. But let me guess, one of her deal breakers is, I don't want no liars. <laughs> Kendra asked a simple question, how old are you? And then she start going on this tangent about being nervous and this and that. That's a simple question. It should be a quick answer. Anytime there's anything other than a quick answer, you know the bullshit is about to begin. Let's talk about how cringy it is for a grown-ass woman to still be lying about her age. You're automatically discredited as a human if you're lying about your age. As a grown woman, you're instantly put in that pump and dump box. No serious man with his life together is going to take a woman serious like this, who's starting off like this. And if this is how it's starting off, can you imagine six months in, all the nonsense that's going to come about? No! I'm 41. Is this a lie? This, no, this is not a lie. I tell everybody oh. I'm 50. So if I ever told you I'm 51, I'm so sorry. Why do you go 10 years older? I know, I know, I know. I am my daddy's child. He did it like, he did it when I was a child. So it's like, you know, that shock factor. Like, oh, wow, mm, oh, 51, you know. Go lay your ass back down and come holler at me tomorrow when you sober. Because you high right now. Anybody want to sign up for this? Anybody in the comment section, <laughs> you know, rubbing their hands together? Think about how insecure you have to be to say you're 10 years older than you are so people can say you look good for your age. Think about how thirsty that is and desperate that is. Are you a little desperate there, Grandma? I'm not desperate. <laughs> I mean, I have plenty of people in my inbox. However, they are not the ones that are marriage material to me. I am in customer service, food, beverage, customer okay. service. Okay. Yeah. Um, Pookie's friend, Ray Ray, y'all got these crazy names on YouTube, um, said 
She's beautiful. I give my entire pension for one date with her. What kind of shit is that? Huh? Yeah, that brother's starving. Yes, sir, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> What's your zodiac sign, Empress? Pisces. I'm actually out here for my birthday. I travel every year for my birthday. Look at you. You all drunk and shit. Out the country. Well, you know, a lot so of people don't believe you're 41 now, so they don't, they don't. No, I am. I am. Okay. Do you have any I kids? Am. Nope. No kids. Um, no kids. And you live in Georgia, correct? I live in Georgia, yeah. So no kids. I don't know if she's been married yet, but it's just, it's sad, man. This age, no kids, traveling all across the world all the time on a customer service salary. Think about that for a minute. How are you affording all these trips? Doing food and beverage customer service. Hey there, big boy. Bet you're packing a few inches of heat. This woman probably working two jobs just to afford these ridiculous trips and don't got no money put away for retirement, no money, you know, invested for retirement. But she'll work a second job to go to Kenya for the second time each year. You are so dumb. You are really dumb, for real. Have you ever been married? No. What kind of man are you looking for, girl? Um, oh, um, hmm. an intentional one, for sure. Um, I like a man's man. Um, one who is considerate, kind. Let me translate that. Considerate and kind mean he willing to fork over his check. <laughs> he willing to, you know, give her his pension, et cetera, et cetera. That's what kind and generous means when women say it in reference to a man. They're not talking about giving them back rubs, rubbing their feet, you know, being there for them emotionally, giving them a shoulder to cry on. No, they talking about money. And being a 41-year-old customer rep, I totally understand. But here's the thing. Even if you did give her money, she ain't going to spend it on anything responsible. She gonna want to spend it on more trips. We gonna let her slide. What? <laughs> <laughs> and she'll get away with it because you want to come on her face. <laughs> um, tall. I'm five ten, so someone who is uh has a close knit relationship with his family. Um. Girl, I had a whole list, but now it's like I'm on here and it's like, ugh, during the headlights. <laughs> so, but I mean, the, but that's, that's the gist of it, I would say. Okay, what are your deal breakers? Um, my deal breakers. Um, men who sag their pants. Um, this might be a hot topic, but um, STDs. So no, no herpes, no syphilis, no virus, no. Wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. Hold, wait, first of all, you're not gonna speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said. She got a lot of experience with guys who sag their pants and guys who give her STDs. That's why that's the first thing that popped up in her head when she talked about deal breakers. <laughs> Dead giveaway. Dead Charles, giveaway. Charles, thank you very Dead much. Dead giveaway. Usually that's what they say. The stuff they've been dealing with for the past 10, 15, 20 years. That's what they don't want to deal with no more. She's been there and done that with the STDs and saggy pants. No guys who are on the run. <laughs> you know what I mean? No guys who got six kids by six baby mamas. No guys with DV charges. Like, this is her history. You know. Have you syndrome. been, okay, are you saying this because you had a situation? No, but I just know that people are not, um... Just they're not they're not careful, you know. They think even though there's like they're like nineties babies, eighties babies, you know, they think that we're living in the sixties, seventies, and that's just um yeah, pe people are out here living reckless pretty much. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. So nobody with an STD. <laughs> Anything else for your deal breakers? The usual, no car, no job. You know, that's a little, that's a little weird. Um, I'm just very concerned about. It. I don't, I don't. I'm not trying to put a cream on me for the rest of my life. I'm not trying to pop a pill, you know, for the rest of my life. So just, you know, 
you know, be safe. Stop it. Get some help. Uh, should he look a certain way? Um, as I mentioned before, I am 5'10". Nobody gives a f about that. <laughs> Taller is better. However, I have dated people who were shorter than me, maybe by one inch. Okay. So ideally, I would say tall, blacker than the skies at midnight. I mean, I'm pretty open. I'm more based on personalities, I will say. Like with food, you know, you can't yuck my yum. That's the same thing with men. That makes no fucking sense. <laughs> We all just act like it's normal. I don't even know what that means. No one knows what it means, but it's provocative. You know, like some people that I've dated in the past, um, maybe some people would be like, ooh, Empress, you know, but he was my yum. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. Um, this was the question was, does this guy have to look a certain way, correct? Yes. I forgot the question I asked, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what about money? Should he make a certain amount of money? First of all, for me, when starting to date someone, it's not like, you know, we know what each other makes anyway. Duh. So that's not really a topic that necessarily comes up. But one thing we know for sure is you don't make a lot at 41 as a food and beverage customer service rep, or whatever you want to call it, whatever fancy way you want to put it. <laughs> so you need somebody with a little bit of paper. But somebody with a little bit of paper ain't gonna fuck with you. A chick who come on an online dating show lying about her age with her mams out. <laughs> you don't find that suspicious? <laughs> so you might just have to find the best saggy pants wearing, you know, STD infested man. And just roll with him. In my lifetime, you know, I've made 50,000, 60, 70, 80, 100 little over 100 you know in my lifetime i hope this camera keep going no we're gonna this let is the not true okay, oh. and all of those times i was comfortable you know so i guess it just all depends on how he spends his money what's what he does with it i think that's the biggest thing what he what he does with it you know because again 50 60 70 on up i made and i still you know live how I want to live, do what I want to do, and be comfortable with it, you know? Well, we know you're not financially smart. And that was a complete lie. I made 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 150. That's not how life works. That's not how people's, you know, careers work. You don't know that. It just doesn't add up. When you listen to women talk, you got to just think. Don't just roll with what they say. Do the math in your head when they talk. It's truly astounding what women can get away with just because they have a certain shape of eyebrows, long straight hair, and she's just not fat. It's amazing what they can get away with. And it's just here's it's just that simple. Like just don't be fat, have long straight hair, and look like you can figure out how to combine soap and water. And a woman's life is paid. You should have just came up with a better lie, man. You lied about your age, why not? Take it a little further and lie about your career. Um, but I will say, nobody, nobody that makes over a billion dollars. That's too much for me. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. You get to say that about a woman. Why can't you say women are wrong when they're wrong? You want to be making moves on the street, have no attachments, allow nothing to be in your life that you cannot walk out on in 30 seconds flat. Okay, first of all, I didn't miss the red flags. I looked at them and thought, damn, that's sexy. And that's my problem. 